Hey guys, welcome to another video of One Punch Man. So, I've been thinking about the topic that I want to discuss, and I'm thinking that most people like me and so on, we look for guides on the internet, on YouTube, or whatever, but we don't have a real clear guide on what to do in One Punch Man. All we know is that we want um, our BP to go up, our team BP, right? So, my team BP right now is about 100,000. So, 100,000 is like, okay, normal. But the thing is, is BP really that important? Or is team lineup actually more important? So, I'm trying to balance between the two. And then, I realized that you need a good combo first to start with, right? So, I played for a few days and so on. And I tweaked quite a bit. And I also reversed a few characters. Starting, I used... Um, starting I used Genos and then I realized that because I have Child Emperor I don't really need Genos so I started to build my Child Emperor because after reading up on Child Emperor's passive I realized that his core uh, his core stats is very imbalanced right so if I build around Child Emperor I should be better off right so let's go on with that thought. So very important is you have to understand is when you choose a core to build around your team with, right? Right now this is my team. Okay, I built that means I choose for my child emperor to be the core. After that, then I will plan for what actually synergizes with child emperor the most, right? So so there's a lot of things that come into it. Firstly, in a team lineup, you want to know which character goes first. So which character goes first? For in my case, because I want Child Emperor to go first, because after he quits, my team will be able to use their ultimates, right? So if let's say my Child Emperor go first, like let's say you look at my lineup, right? I choose a AOE heavy lineup, which means to say that after my Child Emperor goes, Atomic Samurai will be the second to go. That's why down there it writes Speed 2, right? So you have to plan around your team. For example, you see, so my Child Emperor has the fastest speed in this game, okay? So Child Emperor, if let's say you have a lineup like that, you have to make your Child Emperor go first, followed by the AoE of your choice, right? That's how your team should go for. So that's why my Atomic Samurai goes next. After Atomic Samurai goes already, my Golden Ball will go next. Okay? Now, if you notice what I, I just emphasized on, the, the units that go after my Child Emperor are all units that can AOE and hit every single person in the opponent team. So this combo can work for clearing stages fast because you AOE everything already. You clear the front line, the back line, or whatever line there is. Because um, basically I went for a team synergy that emphasizes on AoE, which is right now the early stage in, the, in this game. This game is not, I think it's about week old at most. So because the game is about week old, everybody does not have good gear, right? So you have to think in that way, which is why I went for this combo and this team setup. Okay, I'm very lucky that uh, when I reroll, I chose Child Emperor as my setup. So, I aim, I hope that I can at least get Terrible Tornado or Atomic Samurai. Which I'm quite lucky I managed to get Atomic Samurai. I also wish I have a Terrible Tornado, but it's okay. I use a Golden Ball to compensate for that. Because Golden Ball can also hit everybody. Okay, so for insurance, uh, if you want healing backup and so on, we have... Amei Mask, we also have Dr. Genus, and for the tank, right, I'm currently using Combo Infinity, the, this weird looking alien in the center of my lineup, okay? He's speed 6, the last to go, but he can soak a lot of damage. He's just there for, to soak damage so that my Amei Mask can deal a lot of damage to whatever that I cannot kill, whatever that is left over. Okay, so I've talked about our lineup, what you should do, right? So in this stage of the game, I feel that for lineups, 
for lineups, you should plan around AoE at this stage of the game because you want to clear content fast, you want to clear as fast as possible. So the first few steps would be build a team around just a single core. Don't don't go for complicated setups or whatever, you know. You can have all the SSRs in your team and it's no use. Imagine let's say your whole lineup is full of SSR players, right? All SSR units, but you do not have the resources to build every single unit right so right now all my resources all my resources is into child emperor so that's why my child emperor is already three star okay my child emperor is three star my next order of priority will be my atomic samurai atomic samurai will be the next one and then after that i'll be prioritizing my golden balls because i do not have a terrible tornado or or any other aoe that can hit everyone right so i'll be focusing on that and my fourth priority will be my Amai Mask. Okay, this guy is just very imbalanced. If you have this character, build him. You know, you will not regret it. Just build him. Okay, so we talked about that already. And then after that, how do you make your team go the speed that you want, right? Okay, so now we'll be talking about speed. Okay, so now we'll be getting on to speed. Okay, so now we are on the topic of speed so how do you know which character will go first like you see I have Char Emperor on speed 1 what does that mean? that means he goes first right? but how do you make him go first? that's the important question that you want to ask yourselves right? how do I make my Char Emperor go first? after that how do I make my Atomic Samurai follow up? right? he'll be the next to go then after that Golden Ball will go next you know how come my team has this kind of synergy? Okay, so I will just show you, in order to make your team go first or which character you want to go first, you have to first look at the stats of the character. So let's say for example, my Char Emperor just now went first, right, in my lineup. So if the Char Emperor goes first, you have to see the stats, why he goes first. So in this case, my Char Emperor goes first because his speed, okay, look at this thing, this, this description in the, in the tab. In the stats tab okay you just click on the stats here you'll be able to see speed so the faster the speed that you have in your character that will be the fast that will be the the thing that will decide whether your unit goes first so in this case my child emperor has 159 speed okay just just take that as a number 159 speed Okay, now how does my Atomic Samurai go next, right? So we are now have to go to Atomic Samurai. Now you look at Atomic Samurai. Atomic Samurai is 98 speed. So he's definitely significantly slower than Char Emperor. So from this we can tell, as long as I put my speed gear on Char Emperor, he's going to go first. Then if you want your next character go to go next, he naturally has to have the speed that is faster than the next character, right? So in this case, my Atomic Samurai is 98 speed. So I want what else to go next? Okay, so in my in my case, if you look at my lineup, Char Emperor goes first. After Char Emperor, Atomic Samurai will go next, right? Then after that, if you look at my speed tree, that is Golden Ball, okay? So this is all calculated. So that means if my Char Emperor goes first, the next one that goes will be Atomic Samurai. So you learn his stats, his speed is 98, right? Then my next one, speed is 95, okay? So if, if you take note of all this, then you realize that yes, you have to plan your gear around that. Okay, so now you understand why speed is very important in this in this setup if let's say you want to go for pvp and so on always put the fastest gear on the hero that you want to go first right so you build your hero according to the fastest gear that you want your core hero to go first so in this case for me i want my child emperor to go first okay and because child emperor right his specialty is that when he lands a crit or any ally lands a crit we will be able to gain two energy right which means the next character will be able to do an ultimate because he has two extra energy. So in this case, this is why I built my Char Emperor. 
this is why I built my Char Emperor to have quick chance. And that's why I pushed him to 3 stars first. I, I limit break him to 3 stars so that he'll be able to gain more quick chance. With more quick chance, my Atomic Samurai will be able to hit everybody. That's how I do my planning on the gear, right? So if you notice my gear for my gear for Char Emperor is mostly all speed. Mostly all speed with attack if possible. Right? I hope to have actually the monk set. If let's say you have monk set, monk will increase speed by 10% if you are set of 4. Okay? So but because my monk sets are not good, they didn't have the proper speeds and so on, I chose gear from all separate sources, okay, just to get the gear that I want and the damage that I want and everything. Throughout time, right, after you farm a lot of your gear and so on, you'll be able to get the full monk set. So full monk set, you have to plan your priority because monk is all about speed, right? You look at this, monk 4.4, speed increases by 10%. Okay, so I hope I clear a lot of confusion up right now on what kind of gear you need for what kind of characters, okay? So today we'll just be talking about lineup, how to get your BP up, and then how this lineup is going to benefit you, okay? It's not too late to do rerolls. If, let's say, you really want a team like that, you have to reroll, right? Because the, the chance of getting Char Emperor is, I think, very low. The chance of getting Char Emperor is like, I don't know, you know, 1% drop rate and so on. So it's best to start off with Char Emperor or a hero that you want. Choose your core correctly. Okay? You don't just like go, oh, Janos is good, his ulti looks good and so on. I like this character. But you have to understand the objective of the game. Okay, I hope I get clear on that. Okay, now I'll just show you uh, in PvP and in clearing some stages how I use my combo and then you'll be seeing how effective it is at this current content okay so let's get on with that okay so right now I you can see my rank I'm currently not very high rank in arena I was building my team in the past few days so this is my lineup I already showed you my lineup so let's just compare with uh, now I'm ranked 3066, let's compare with someone at uh, 1963, okay? So we just challenge him. And then let's see how my team fares, because it's all, all on auto, you have to get your team right. So you see, my Char Emperor goes first, we'll wreck them all. It's a exactly as what I, I do, and they are not really going to stand much of a chance unless their CP is really, uh, I mean their BP is really very high. Okay, this is just one example. So I just climbed a thousand over rank because of that. And also because his BP is very low. Okay, so let's just go on to the low. The first guy on the list is always the, the highest rank. Okay, so I'll just challenge. It's all on auto, so definitely because of the speed that I mentioned and the gear that I chose, we will be able to see that that's how we smash people. Okay, um, just two hits, opponent is gone. Okay, so next one. Okay, so you get what I'm trying to mean by having a strong lineup at the start. And then building your team towards this lineup. Okay, it doesn't really matter whether you have a low BP or not. You must have an objective in this game. Okay? If you have an objective in this game, you'll be able to have a clear path on what you want to do. Okay, the good part about Arena in this game is that right now from what I see is because it's all on auto, the opponent cannot control what he is trying to do. So speed is very important here because you can choose to have your opponent, uh, your team go first. You see, like that, two combos, everybody is dead, right? Okay, the remaining, they 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 are going to be just smash, smash to pieces, right? That, that that in just one turn, you know, we are just talking about one turn. I'm just smashing everybody in one turn, right? So I jump from. 
just now I was ranked 3000 plus right I jumped all the way to 870 in just 3 matches right so that's what I'm trying to tell you uh, and then sometimes of course in arena you have to plan like for example this guy now he's higher BP than me right you can choose not to face him so in this case I choose someone that is just a hundred rank so I just choose this one and then let's just see how it goes and then uh, this will be a good demonstration of how how it, my team works So, because it's all auto, you cannot control, so you definitely need your, your team to be very strong. So I hope to be able to wipe this team in the next turn. If I don't, I will lose. So uh, I might lose this battle, but I mean you get my point. So basically it's... <laughs> I I think I might win, might lose, I'm not sure. Uh, I lost this one, but basically you you can tell I climb about two thousand over rank. Okay, so with the lineup I plan for which of my characters to go first and so on and I go with a very he AOE heavy lineup. Okay, so that's how you should be planning your team and so on and then you can claim all the rewards after that all these rewards do doesn't really matter I mean you the objective of this game is that you need to first plan your team okay so after you plan your team already work around that team you don't have to really care about people's uh, team power like I pointed out in the last match the, la the one that I lost that guy, that guy's team is only eighty five thousand BP, but he beat my team of one hundred thousand BP, right? Because he planned it better, or he had a better synergize of his his team synergy. He had a better team synergy, so it's very important to get around that. Okay, so very important. You look at your lineup, and then after that you plan around it to get a hundred thousand and above. Uh, BP is actually quite simple. We'll get on with that in the uh, uh in yeah I mean we'll get on to, to that when I think in the next video. Yeah for, for now this is like part one where I will be just introducing you how to do your lineup, okay, what is important and how to do basic PvP and I can now show you how my team lines up in uh Let's say for example I do conquer. Let's say I farm for gear, right? So let's say now it's Sky King. Okay, so now I can only do up to floor six because uh, floor seven will require me to be level fifty. I'm not level fifty yet, so I'll do the highest possible. Okay, so in this case I'll be using this team as usual. Then you can just see how I plan around my lineup and how it works. Actually, I. I'm thinking of changing a bit on my team also. I might remove Janus, Dr. Janus from the lineup and put in Sky King because he does a lot of uh, he does uh, a passive that increases my team's uh, damage by 20%. That's a lot. So I might be changing my team around that and we will be able to clear people even faster. Okay, so in this case, uh, this is how we, we take care of most of the content. This is quite easy, uh. that's why um, I, I, I just set it all auto and because my team is already, uh, I already plan according to the timing and so on, it will be very easy to just execute. Okay, so we have come to the end of this video already and I hope that you like what you learn. I hope that you, you got something out of this where you are more clear on what to do, what kind of gear you need 
to make your team go first. Like I said, if, let's say you want your your core to go first, you need him to have the faster speed. Okay, so we have come to the end of the video. If you like this video, do share, like and subscribe.